Hello, everybody. This is Dr. J. Arjun and Spike, streaming live from Long Island, New York, and Westchester, New York, and Seattle, Washington. And yep. it's raining in New York, and it's like without even asking Arjun, it's probably raining in Seattle. But you are one hundred percent correct. Yeah, it's always raining in Seattle. So. Yep, sleepless and raining. Sleepless. Sure. And you have your umbrella handy? I got an umbrella. I got a raincoat. Uh, it's, also, yeah. it's also raining a lot of red on Wall Street. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You need you need a heavy, you need a big umbrella to walk down Wall Street today. <laughs> At least if you're into bio you got, like, you you got Linda you're into bio track like we are, you get it. So, you know, I tweeted out uh, about uh, eight or nine uh, stocks we should look at, but I also want to look at ACIU and ATHX. Yep. ACIU had some very good news today in the Alzheimer's front, and a ATHX had some what I consider bad news on the delay in releasing data on its stroke trial in Japan. So we have one good, one bad that I'm adding. Uh, as uh, Dan pointed out, biotech is Drac. Dan, let me go to Dan's remark. Biotech is Drac again. This says it all. Biotech is Drac. CTIC, VBIV, checkpoint. No runners, just losers. And I said add ATHX to that list. Jiggly. Yep. Well, yeah. Jiggly, what do what does Jiggly have to say? <laughs> Jiggly says we take uh, we take ATHX out behind the barn and shoot it and never look to talk about it again. I'm not right, opposed. We'll talk, about, we'll talk about Codex instead. <laughs> we can give it some ivermectin. Sean is undaunted, <laughs> undaunted by a little a little downturn, a little downturn right. in the strong bull market. Well, I figured and I had a chance to get into your dollar thirteen, so I read it. Sean, MA is very neutral about the market, but he says shalom. Peace, peace be upon you, my friend. Shalom. I'm not going to read them all. I'm going to flash a bunch on the yeah, screen. No, I, I, I got them covered. You, you guys can read them if you want. Yeah. Any, yeah. any interesting ones? Read. A lot of them are the same theme. Yeah, people talk about sundial. Uh, it's really not me. I was just teasing. I don't know who's doing it. But the funniest thing about it is whoever does it undoes it later in the day. Is that what it is? Yeah, whoever's doing it is just pranking. That's, that's why I've never found them. Maybe, maybe it's Professor Spike. I don't know who it is. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know how down on myself I am. But it's not. Yeah, it's, not, it's, not self -replication. it's not. It's not really me. I was just teasing. But the good news is, whoever's pranking me removes that thumbs down and <laughs> puts the thumbs up later. In the day. Well, maybe we got to earn it. Maybe right, we right, right. You, start, it. you start off with the thumbs down, and then you work your way up. Presumably. Tesla and Crisp, we have requests for. Yeah, Sundial. people want CRISPR, people want Tesla. People want I'm still, I'm still, I'm still bleeding about Lucid. I really should I really got out way too early on that one. All right. Oh Check wow. Point. Check Anovis is really bad today too. Everything's bad. Yeah, I, I lost. I sold some of my Anovis. I had too much, and I said once it hit below thirty, twenty, thirty dollars and twenty cents, on the chart, it didn't look too good to me. So I sold some. Yeah, you know what looks good today? Actually, pot. Pot is hot. Pot is hot. My chili must be really? doing good. Tilray is up my, almost. My Tilray might actually get me only losing a lot instead of losing a lot, a lot. Well, let's yeah, I, I am recovering let's get a little down bit. To on Andrew. Yeah. Andile finally woke up. 
We can definitely chart BCRX for Linda. She's asking. I have some strong. I have some strong opinions on BCRX that I'll share. Like, we we haven't we, heard your opinions we, about BPIP in a long time. Crops, like crops players mentality. You you got to cash. You got to cash. You got to pull it out, right? You got to cash because if you leave it on the table too long, it goes away. Right. One, one seven and it's gone. You have to cash. Jiggly had a good call cashing out on check point. Yep. So I think Jiggly wasn't around for a while because of the bills. Maybe maybe this week. What do you think? What the Bills? Well, they're gonna play the Jets. So my take is there's no good team. I took the points because I'm a Jet fan. The Jets have been surprisingly tough. Yeah. yeah, my take is there's zero I mean, good teams in the NFL. No. There's no good teams at all. Everyone sucks. Yeah, well, both now, now that Arizona field. lost their quarterback, how long is he going to be out for? I don't know, but I mean, Arizona looked like the team with that with the, with the as long as they had their quarterback. Yeah, but even that one didn't really pass the eye test for me. I don't know. I think everyone sucks, and that's fine. You know, it makes for more fun. <laughs> Patrick said he was going to go to 100% cash, and he did. Yeah, no, no. He, he, he's been out. Well, you know, I guess he timed that pretty well. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Uh, or maybe not. You know, you know, with these corrections, you just never know when the real one, when the, when the real one is starting as opposed to just the – Little dip, dippy rooskies that we've been having for forever. Well, is, is IWM still still uh, melting up? IWM or? went through support. Went. Yeah, no, I know it, it's it's been it's been moving, but the I long just, way. I, I could always look it up you myself. Read, you you up guys want to read, read any of these? I'm flashing them on. No, just not, just not charting. Yeah, I think we can chart. I think a lot of them are. Everyone's down. All the football teams suck. Trevor Lawrence needs a haircut. And, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can chart. You said you want me to chart today? You want? You can chart. Uh, it's all right. I, I think I'm okay. Okay, good. Well, yeah, when we get to BCRX, though, I definitely have a – some strong opinions. I don't think we've seen the worst yet. That's my take. Well, let's let's start it. You want to start with that one? That's fine with me. Because it broke all the key moving averages, and I think that I think that we're going we're going to the tens. Really? I think we're going to the high tens. Ten seventy three is my number. Well, we had an engulfing, well, almost. Is this an engulfing? Yes. This is an engulf we had an engulfing candle here, which is a, which is a reversal candle. That was on 11.5. So yeah. the low of that day is very key, 11.53. If you take that out, look out below, because this is, as I said, a key candle after a long downturn. And we've had a long downturn, so it came at the right place. This is a significant candle. This, you know, you say to yourself, how does one candle mean anything? The problem is when you check empirically after a long downturn, a candle like this does mean something. So the empirical data supports that this candle could mean a turnaround to the upside in, in DCRX. And of course, it, what it takes to, to, to negate that is a close uh, any any inter, 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 any movement below the low of that day. Yep. So I mean, that's the key. Yeah. Below below 1153 would negate that candle. But until then, I'm of the opinion that you shouldn't be you shouldn't be giving up on BCRX. Yeah, I don't think we should be giving up on it. But I, like I think if people are owning large amounts, you should be selling covered calls. Um. Because I, I think it's going to take a while to get anywhere near back to 
the 15s. Don't forget the last three days has been terrible for all biotech. Yeah, true. Also, can you take the comment off the screen? Sure. And then I can't hide. <laughs> But yeah, like maybe if you want to say trading range right now for BCRX, maybe maybe you'll call it short term eleven fifty two to twelve eighty six because that's that's where it stopped going up and stuff. I'm saying, I'm saying more optimistically that we get a gap a gap fill here to fourteen twenty fourteen uh, sixty one. So I'm taking the opposite point of view. 1461. Oh, mainly on the basis of that, uh, again, what will change my mind is if we go below 1150. Sure. Yeah. But 1153 is a key. Wait, wait a second. 1152 the day before. Yeah, something around there. So we do. This is not an engulfing, after all. Oh, it's not right. It oh. makes me a little bit less excited. Oh well, I thought it was an engulfing, eyeballing it, but it's actually, it's close. It's close. Oh, so this is by a penny. Yeah. But that's a significant penny. I know it sounds crazy, but it's still. A no, I think you're right. Yeah. Well, it'll probably look better if you go to the weekly. Yeah, let's try to weekly. This, weekly. Uh, this candle happened happened on a Friday, did it? Let's take a look. It was earnings. Um, yeah. No, there's no engulfing on the weekly. No, no, it looks even worse with the um, in the weekly. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, all right, so I, I don't take it all back, but I take most of it back. Most of my optimistic optimism stemmed from that what I thought was an engulfing that just misses being an engulfing. Yeah, um, I'm I'm gonna stick with the prediction. Ten ten seventy three is gonna come within a month. I'll, I'll go with your prediction. But I'll be very bullish at ten seventy three. You guys are gonna make me cry. Sell some calls. <laughs> I do that stuff. I'm I already sure. lost uh, 25. I, I'm totally going to be out of the money on 25 calls that I bought at, at the strike price of 13 and 12. Hmm. So, and you I, thought you were weighing the money at the time, probably. Yeah, I thought I was weighing the money. Yeah. All right, anyway, it's only money. And it's always, you know, it's always tomorrow, and there's always a, a winner. And Patrick is sour on the market. You should be looking at the short side. There's always a way to make a buck. And even in the worst bear markets, one, one out of eight stocks tend to do well. So you can see it's a, it becomes more difficult, but still feasible to make money, even in a bear market. Some of my biggest winners have been in bear markets. On that the makes long, sense. On the long side. By the fear. Being a constant no, I mean, uh, always, in the VIX. I there's always going to be some company that has some innovation that's going to go, to go north like crazy even in a bear market. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's always important to see who doesn't fall off a cliff during bear markets. Like who only dips a little or stays flat. Well, that's if you want if you want to be conservative and yeah, but the, I'm talking about actual winners, not just didn't go down as much. Right. Well, yeah, but it's all about time frame, also, right? Yeah, timing is everything. Uh, after this, I, remember I said the three month data on the last study with Shigai was not nearly as good as the one-year data following stroke. Uh, well, apparently that happened in Japan now because we were supposed to get three-month data. Yeah, that, that is from the time the last patient uh, was enrolled. Three months 
will have gone by sometime in December. And we were supposed to get data at that point before the end of the year, but it's been pushed back uh, to, to become one-year data. And I, I don't remember what date they're talking now, the end of March maybe, or something like that. That the data will be that the data will become unblinded, and I think it'll be pushed back even later. So with all this pushback, uh, the stock is taking it on the chin. I think it can, just as you're negative on BCRX, I'm negative on this one. Even though I own, I still own a lot of it, but I'm I'm thinking it could go. It probably will go lower because outside of some odds data which looks good and the, the stroke data is delayed and 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 also more of a question mark than it ever was before so when you finally get this stroke data it may not be so good that's that's the problem here and as jiggly said take it outside behind the barn and shoot it i'm not ready to do that <laughs> because Potentially, there's a big payoff. Yeah. If, if the data after one year, after patients have been followed for one year, is substan shows substantial improvement over to, over standard of care, then this is a big, big winner, multi billion dollar winner. So how can you be out of it? You got to be in it. It's mm, just that timing is. Good way, don't look at it. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to accumulate if it, on any drops, and I think that, I think I'll have an opportunity to. I'm I'm going to gamble on this one, even though I know I could lose. I think the gamble is worth it. So, I'm 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 talking a little bit out of both sides of my mouth. Short term, it looks very iffy. Long term, it looks iffy, but worth the gamble. How's that? Sure. All right. Don't bet the farm. <laughs> no, don't bet the farm, but or the <laughs> fan. you're going to get better odds than betting Yo 11 at the craps table. Yep. Well, yeah. I mean, you can say that about a lot of things, but yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm not, a, not so. The thing is, you're going to get, you're going to get tremendous. Uh, let's say it goes to a buck on this downswing. If the stroke data out of Japan is good, you're looking at five bucks immediately. That's true, yeah. Yeah, risk reward, I think a dollar, I mean, even a dollar 15, like I have no problem buying some now. Right. Yeah, because how much difference is there between a dollar 15 and a dollar? I know percentage wise there is, but not in terms of Yeah. Well, yeah I well, think I'd, rather, I'd rather buy at a dollar. And I think it's telling that it didn't it didn't take out the low from two weeks ago. I think that might be that might be at least interesting. Well, it didn't take out the low yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, today it's dipping a lot, and it didn't take it out today. I think that's important at at the very least. Where where the hell is the, the recent lows? Well, you're looking back in 2015. 90 cents. That's five years ago, six years ago. Well, to me, that's recent. Well, I guess you've held this since the Stone Age. So. Yes, yeah, so I've, I've, I've held it. I, I bought it 90 cents. This was after the bad news on uh, Shugai. Well, what's the low more recently when all that volume came in? Yeah, there. What's that? What's the low from like right before? Yeah, before that, you gotta go left. You gotta get the low. Yeah. No. Um. Wait. Yeah. You, you were close to it. Go back to where you were. But like, there's one before it started spiking. Like a little left. Like, yeah. So one that was in the one twenties. We were, yeah. all, we, were all, we were all oversold for about a day. Yeah. But when it spiked. I see strong support here. Well, yes. If you draw this line, it goes on the, on the weekly, it goes all the way back to uh, 
to the, to uh, what year is this? 2017, 2017? Yeah, actually, you know, I'm going to buy some more right now after seeing there this. There you go. There you go, Chick. Yeah, I'll buy, yeah, I'll buy, I'll add 20% to my <laughs> small, small, small position. <laughs> All right. There we have, there we have it. Buy, buy add, add to your small position and sell your big, some of your big position. <laughs> <laughs> Well, my average yeah. is exactly just did that, that now, so whatever. You would see I'm me just, do it again? Puff, just did it. I'm break even on Athersis. Yeah, good on you. Uh, uh, well, IWM, well, look at this. Well, we broke out on the IWM, and we're holding, yeah. we're holding that, that what was tough resistance is now going to be support. And I suspect yeah. very tough support at that 135 area. So we have strong support four points below where we're trading. And if you think that if you think that this recent downturn is just bullshit, then this is a great a great a great uh, buy here. Right. Or, or, and a little further pullback perhaps to the middle of this bar. Maybe, maybe 238, 237. We could go a little lower, but I think support at 235 is is very strong. I think I think the, the market's been waiting for a long time for this guy to break out. And theoretically, theoretically, once it breaks out, and once the market puts puts um, feeling sorry for itself with the threat of stagflation, which isn't going to happen, by the way, then uh, I think the the rally can can be can resume and will be led by the small caps. So that's what I think, and that's why I've been buying IWM. I will continue to buy IWM, and if I'm wrong, I will sell below 135, 235 for a loss. I've been wrong before, but I think I'm right on this one. Well, time will tell. You wouldn't even wait till 220 for a real capitulation. No, I, if, it, if it goes to 230 or 233, I'll probably be out. Yeah. Okay. Take my loss. Nice chart. It, it shows very clearly, this is being the weekly, that we have done what, what we couldn't do for 10, 10 months. We have broken through a wall of resistance, and this should lead the market forward. I don't yep. know what the other averages are today. Are they also hovering around zero? Uh, yeah, but I'm I'm bullish on the S and P. The S and P's up a bit. I'm okay. definitely bullish as of now, though. Well, I bought spiders and I bought uh, IWM, so I'm also bullish the market. But we'll see. If I, you know, if if we get a breakdown, I'm out quick. I'm not gonna yeah. Make no, I don't want to get hurt too badly, but otherwise I'll let it ride on, on this one. That's my plan. As always, our opinions are strictly on and do not constitute investment advice. Do your own due diligence, check with an advisor before acting. Most of the time we have some phenomenal ideas, but occasionally we have some clunkers. So you got to weed out those clunkers from the great ideas. And uh, speaking of great ideas, I think this is one that is a great idea. Ah. Now, they have a partnership with Janssen. And on that partnership, they're investigating an AD drug. And the AD drug in phase 1, 2A came out with news today that it had stimulated a very strong immune response against one of, one of the proteins involved in Alzheimer's. You know, Alzheimer's with the beta amyloid protein and the P tau protein, they, they, they're misfolded proteins. They, they get folded in, killing the neurons. And that's basically what happened. So the approach has been to concentrate on the uh, beta amyloid protein, but this company, together with Janssen, 
which is J&J, is concentrating on the P-tau protein. And they stimulated an immune, a very strong immune response, which was measured in phase one trials. It looks good to me long term. I know that I know that this is a really ugly, really ugly candle, but uh, that happens with, with BioDraft. And even though it is clearly an engulfing on the weekly, it does not come after a very long run. A little run, not a very long run. Uh, it, um, good news, it, it's down on good news, which is not a good sign. So, you know, it shows you that it's a long-term play. How's that for summer? summer? Okay. It's a long-term play. But I think it could be a very good one. And, and again, it's for very treating, treating, treating Alzheimer's very early on. Very early. I think that's the key for all those, all these neurodegenerative diseases. The cure has got to be very early on. That's the key before the damage is done. All right. Um, what else did I have listed? Tell you in a sec. Um, I, I don't think you're you're at Amazon, doing. Pfizer, Moderna. Pay safe. Pay safe, I'd be interested in your opinion on No, that was the last, wasn't that the last tweet? What I tweet today? Oh. Yeah, it was last week. Or yesterday. Maybe, maybe, I, I didn't see, I don't see anything from yesterday. <clears throat> Nothing from yesterday? Not on the Twitter Twitter. Well, yeah, you got yesterday, you you did, yeah, Amazon, Pay Safe, Moderna, AEMD. Oh, I did, okay. GM, <laughs> Fisker. All right, so let's maybe, I maybe I don't need ACIU drug after all. Yeah. Oh, NVIDIA also. I love NVIDIA. I, I, I added to my NVIDIA. Yeah, I have that um, in my retirement account. Yeah. The, this one, Amazon, has been an amazing performer for, for decades. So, I mean, it, it's just a, never a wrong time to buy Amazon. And We're right now, that. it's dipping a little bit off the phenomenal run that it's had. This one has kept me in the in the game single-handed almost. So the recent tie uh, of 37.73 should be taken out. And this week, this week it's making a lousy-looking doji, but it's on a it's on a tear. Even if it comes back to trend, it's just Ad shares. It's always time. It's never the wrong time to buy Amazon and when in doubt, buy Amazon and so on and so forth. It's just a matter of time before new highs are made as the bull market will resume. I wanted to talk a little bit about stagflation versus inflation versus mm -hmm. transitory inflation. So, uh, I mean, that's the reason that the market has been selling off the last couple of days. The fear of inflation. The CPI report was very high, the highest it's been in 30 years. And an annualized, annualized return, an annualized number of 6.2% inflation. But we remember inflation much higher than that going back, uh, I think I remember, going back to the late 70s when the interest rates on the, were hovering around 18% on the long bond. That's right, on the 30th. Right. Really crazy numbers. Yeah. And uh, the, the uh, CPI was through the roof. And uh, there, were get, there were energy prices were soaring with gas lines under Carter and Ford. Yep. Uh, so I remember... I remember stagflation, and this is not stagflation. Stagflation really means that not only are prices going up everywhere, but the unemployment rate is high, people can't get jobs, and the economy is either stalling or running negative. Now, the GDP last quarter was an okay 2%, right? But this quarter, all of Wall Street is projecting 
big numbers on GDP, like 6% annualized. So this is not stagflation. No, it's not. People are, people are using that word indiscriminately, and it's like to, almost like to scare everyone. Well, so if you're an investor that's being scared by stagflation, it's a scary sounding word, but chances are you don't remember what it is. I remember what it is. And I I know stagflation. And this ain't it. And this, and this is no stagflation. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> it's one of your old jokes, right? Yes, yes. I know. I know stagflation. I worked on this stagflation. Take my take my word for it. You know stagflation. That's correct. <laughs> you you picked up on that. Well, you picked up on that right away, didn't you? <laughs> Uh, well, that, yeah. was the old, that was the old saying about what, what his wife that used was, to say. That right? was the vice, the vice president, a vice presidential debate. It was, uh, it was uh, the Mr. Potato Head against, uh, right. what's his name? Uh, no. Uh, Mondale didn't say it. Uh, oh, the, oh, it was the other one, the, right? The, the Texas senator or governor, I forgot his name. Uh, well, whatever. I can't, I blanked his name. <laughs> that's, that's the one. Yeah. But I saw that debate. It was really a very nice, interesting debate. I think it was. Benson, I, I, right. I, it was Benson. 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 Thank you. Benson, Boy, Benson, right. Benson is correct. And later he became Secretary of the Treasury under, under, under somebody. Probably would have had with Clinton. Uh, maybe under no, not that. I, I think it was earlier. Maybe under under Carter. Maybe I don't know. I, I, that I don't remember. It's fuzzy. Mm -hmm. Bill, yeah, it was Clinton. It was Clinton. Okay. Yeah, it's what Magnificent Answer said. Okay. That was, that was the old saying. You know, what, what did Dan Quayle's wife say to him after after a session in bed? You know Jack Kennedy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is one. This is one that I'm going to let Arjun Arjun talk about because he likes it. Yeah, <laughs> this is another one of my. Uh, oh, look at it. And also, Arjun will give references that are at least in the '90s. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't. <laughs> I can't really help you before the '90s. Well, unless you want to know about music, but no. So this one, like. If you guys remember when I was doing the USEG, I've just been drawn to these charts that pump randomly and quickly. But th this one, this one's been treading water for a while in this low kind of 130s range on the weekly. And I think on the next pump, it's going to go to two dollars. And I, d I, I personally don't even care if they go bankrupt or whatever. I just think that they can't raise here because they'll be delisted if they try to do a raise here. And this mm -hmm. is, um, this is a CBD, CBD related pharmaceutical. It could work. It might not, but I I'm playing this purely so that they that, say it's a very rare, a very yeah. rare cannabinoid that that's going to be neuroprotective, especially in Parkinson's. Yeah. And I just, I like where the volume came in recently. I like that there's a lot of eyes on this. So I, I think you can get $2 and I think you can leave. I bought in yesterday at 129. Don't get greedy on this one, but I think you can get something in the range of a 30 to 50% winner if you just wait a couple of weeks. That's a tremendous prediction for a, a chart that looks like this. Yeah, well, we're on the weekly, so it's kind of hard to see that the two dollars is pretty recent. Um, yeah, it. it I, I think you're going to see a day like that one again soon. That's what I'm predicting. It okay. happens pretty often where it pumps. I mean, the pumps get lower and lower, but I think you're going to get another pump and just get out on whatever that is. Pump the magic dragon. <laughs> yeah, there. Like that's 
that's kind of an upper limit on a price target. Maybe you want to be a little more conservative, go to like 170, 180, but 170 on a 135 is pretty yeah. good. Middle of this triangle, maybe bottom of this one. Yeah. Um, the, of the, yeah, the, the drug itself, I have no clue. It might be good. It might not, but I think that, I think it bottomed, and I think we're gonna we're gonna see another pump. Well, it has a nice candle yesterday, so maybe it did bottom. Yeah, I bought in at one twenty nine. I think it's not too late to buy. Buy a little, don't buy a lot, but even bio am, Drex, even most biodrex have bottoms. Yeah, that's true. Well, that's most true. of them, some of them go to zero, but most of them have, have, have bottoms. But yeah, I'm gonna be pre I'm gonna be predicting between one seventy and two dollars before end of the year. That is my maybe, maybe Arjun has found the bottom. And considering your track record on USCG, we're gonna give it a shot, Arjun. At least I am. And uh, again, our opinions are strictly our own and do not constitute investment advice based on a chart. This looks not too great. So. Uh, you know, at your own risk, anything that you do. Yeah. Don't bet it big. I'm not betting it big either, but I, you well, know. Showing double signs anyway. Amazon, yeah, anyway. after Amazon, I said PFE, but what do I have? Yeah, you had a bunch of stuff. What You want to do pay safe? Because that was. Oh, that I'll was do pay safe. Safe. pay safe. Pay safe. You got Pfizer first. You, you Pfizer's know. been on a beautiful tail. Oh, wow. I haven't even been paying attention to this. Been wow. on a tail. And that's because the other vaccine makers are taking it on the chin. This one emer emerged, maybe not the most efficacious one, that might be Moderna, but the safest. But this and one also, remember, Pfizer just had that announced the, uh, the pill. Yeah, and they got the pill, the and pill. They're, and, they're, and they're claiming to be better than Merck's. Boss, it's the pill, the pill, the pill, boss, the pill. <laughs> the pill. <laughs> the pill, boss, the pill. <laughs> That's a reference to uh, an old TV show that called Paradise Island. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm just laughing. I don't know what you know, you're you talking me, about. You, got, you had me on that one. It was the plane, the plane, boss, the plane. Yeah. Oh, you're talking about yeah, Fantasy Island, right? Fantasy heard, Island, not I've, Paradise Island. I've, I've heard of Island. Gilligan's Island, but I'm not sorry, I, I had the wrong island. <laughs> Professor mm -hmm. Spike corrected me. It's Fantasy Island? Is that what you said? Yeah, that was the name of it. It was okay. with the Yeah, with, we're, we're, it? we're going back to our 70s references. Is that Ricardo Montalbaum? Indeed. Yeah, they had all these Mantelbaum. old shows on w, WGN when I was growing up. The Andy Griffith Show. And, oh, um, we, loved, we loved Andy, yeah. yeah. What about Matlock? You like Matlock? Oh, we love Matlock. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're dating yourself. He was implicated in, in a murder, though, Matlock. Oh, like real, real life, life, real life guy. His wife was found, I think, in a swimming pool or something. And Jeez, that's horrible. Really? I think pretty sure it was Matt. Uh, well, maybe another TV detective. I mean, who, well, whatever. <laughs> Could have been another TV detective. Uh, <laughs> one or the other. Oh, I, think, I think it was him. It wasn't really? Colombo. Very good, very good. Yes. Colombo was my favorite because he came back about five times before you got rid of him. Dan is killing it right now, Dan. One, one more thing, one more thing, one more thing. Yeah. All right. One more thing I don't yeah, no, understand. It was Shatner. It was one more thing. Uh, yeah, Pfizer, Shatner. Pfizer, Shatner. I've been buying Pfizer below 45, so I'm actually making some money on something for a change. It looks good. I think it's going to challenge at 52.50. If it takes it out, it'll go up much higher. But if not, maybe it's a good time to take some profits at right about the high here, 51 and a half, 51.35, which is very close to where it is. So I think it's, uh, I might take half off the table. What the hell? Nice. Yeah. I learned from Jigsy, Jiggly to yeah. take something off the table. 
Very strong because of the antiviral pill that started the big rally, the recent big rally. But then also, they're the only vaccine approved for five to eleven year olds, and right now the only vaccine approved twelve to eighteen. And and the recommendation in Germany is that only Pfizer be given to people under thirty because of myo, myocarditis and periocarditis, I think I'm saying it right. Para, pericarditis, yeah, that's the lining of the heart. Inflammation of the heart, which is the side effect is found in younger people that take the Moderna. Yeah. Um, for some reason, not older people, not, not, not alters like me, the chart definitely says take some off. I mean, it looks like it could hit a bit of resistance in the low 50s. Yeah, whenever you have a nice pop, you should take yeah. a little off, especially in this environment. Yeah, I mean, if you take out that line you have, then we can go way up, but that might be hard. It might be. I, I think it might give it a shot, though. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, it's worth, it's worth keeping some for that, but I, I would take off. At least a yeah, quarter of what you know. or who I knows? Know. I don't. I don't know how much you bet, but yeah. I have a very nice game. Put it to you that way. Yeah, take some. Get a cup of coffee. All right. <laughs> okay. Get yourself something nice. Uh, what, what was the next one that I had? Uh, you definitely <laughs> want to do me? Nvidia. Pace, Nvidia. Pace, 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 yeah. pace? And then let's do it Nvidia I also. Oh, I want to see. I want to see people safe crying as much be, as I am. PaySafe is going to be a great buy because it, you know, it, it has tremendous promise. Oh uh, my God! Look at it this. It fell apart no. due to I was crying this week. Due to earnings, and I'm going to quote the CEO during the earnings call: "There's no way we can sugar sugarcoat these results." In other oh, wait, words, you know what? I'm buying some right now. I've never heard a CEO say there's no way I can sugar we can sugarcoat the results, the earnings results. Yeah, but I'm gonna buy some now. I like I I liked this company before this. So if I liked it in the sevens, why don't I like it in the They fours? also projected for next year a disappointing uh, projection. Yeah, so, I'm gonna I'm gonna start my first ever position. Like the only, on the only pay, wasn't this the only play in online gambling for a while? Yes, they, 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 I mean they have. Uh, I bought some. They have uh, a lot of ins with uh, the poker sites, uh, offshore poker sites. Right. Uh, they, they have a lot of businesses. FinTech. Yeah. Uh, they have. Uh, they're in gaming. They're in a lot of things. So uh, I like the, I like this company long term. So yeah. yes, if you begin a position here, but realize that take an investor's point of view on this one. I yeah, think the, the market cap is not egregiously high. Three point two billion for a company with this much potential. I think I think this can this can get to ten bucks again. Yes, but but it may not get there for a year and a half. Yeah, but when you see a gap like that on a company that has promise, I think this is a gift. Uh, truthfully, I bought some uh, yesterday. Yeah, I bought some just now. And I will continue to add a little bit, but I'm not going to buy a ton of this. Yeah, same, same. I just, I've been waiting to buy this one. I didn't think I was going to be able to, but look where we are. Yeah. Uh, do I have an Overstown ANVS? Uh, you didn't, but you can put it, and then we should definitely do NVIDIA. That's one of my favorite stocks. I have that list. NVIDIA, NVIDIA is just, this one is beautiful. Never never sell this. That's my take. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's another Amazon. This company is incredible. Now, why is this company better than AMD or Intel? I like I think AMD, AMD and, and NVIDIA better than Intel. Yeah, AMD, I think, is fantastic. Intel, I just think they have too much. Like, they won't be able to go up as much from where they are because they're, they're already. Slow, very slow mover. Very low, exactly. low beta. Very low exactly. beta. Exactly. 
But NVIDIA, I think, if you look at this on a longer term, this one is just such a beast of a stock. It looks, it looks like the Dow Jones Industrial Averages on a long-term chart. Yeah, this one. Yeah. So it does, it does nothing but go up, and now they're into self-driving vehicles in a big way. They have all kinds of chipsets that that uh, that deal in, that auto de automakers can order uh, on a piecemeal basis, you know, a la carte basis. So yeah. they're, they're really they're really gearing up in the right place. They're in, they're into gaming, of course, and they, they've been a, just a huge winner. I remember early early on, uh, in the, in, as far back as I can remember. If you were building your own computer, you wanted an N NVIDIA, uh, uh, an NVIDIA c uh, card, right? Do you remember that, Professor Spike? I do. Yeah, I mean, NVIDIA was and, and Intel were the two key names. Yeah. So it, this is an old name, but a good name. Sometimes I wonder why I don't just franken together an ETF with companies like this and then like cybersecurity, because they're just so primed. Yes. You can get like CrowdStrike, Cloudflare, you can get this, you can get AMD. You don't even have to check them up to get those. Right. All right. Um, but we're maxing this. We like the pain. <laughs> what else did I have listed in yesterday's list? Pain is sick. I think you can, you can do a Novus, um, even though you didn't list it. The Novus is definitely a hot topic these days. I sold uh, some of my Novus when it broke 30.20. I saw, I saw that as being a key level, so I, I got out. And really? not all of it, just, you know, half, maybe half of it. Not even half of it, like two-fifths, something like that. After that big drop, it was like, why, why even bother dumping any, you know, why even bother dumping? Because I figured I could buy back lower. Oh, all right. Well. It's, it's just, uh, you know, play, that's how I play it. I try to get a few points lower. I think it could, it could revisit these lows up at around $25. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt that. And so if it does, right, these, these have been very volatile. And, yeah, uh, I, buy, I, I want to buy the dip here, and I think we're on the verge of a big dip, so... I, 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 this this number here was key in my mind. I didn't want to I didn't want to keep it below below thirty twenty. I think that's the number. I can't see. So you would you would you would get back in around twenty three and change. Twenty five maybe. Okay, fair enough. It's even even twenty six. Yeah, you know, four points makes a difference. Sure. Um, um, so the other ones you listed, I'm going to work backwards. Uh, Fisker, GM, AABB, and AEMD. Let's look at AEMD. I have a lot to say about this. This yeah. one. Could probably skip GM. Yeah, we're hitting the 48 minute mark, so. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll talk fast. We just start doing dealers' choices. There was good news and bad news on the earnings. Of course, the earnings mean nothing. It was the outlook. And the good news is that they're not, they're not discontinuing their, their feasibility study on or to a phase one on the hemo purifier for COVID. COVID. But they are, uh, they, they, they gave color, let's say, on where they stand. Nobody has been treated under that feasibility study. The two patients that were talked about came under emergency use authorization, not part of that feasibility study. But that feasibility study, that those two patients treated gave it credence so that Stanford is coming on board, UC Davis is coming on board, uh, the one in Jersey, Cooper Medical coming on board, big name hospitals coming on board, and that that is exciting. So yes, it's a delay. They're not moving at exactly the pace I would have liked. This trial was announced ten months ago. They couldn't dose one. They couldn't try treat one patient. 
I mean, that, that kind of, uh, that's, a, that's the negative. But the, the, the good news is it's still moving along. And I, I had a fear that the, the, that the worst could, could be ahead of us, that, uh, that they could have stopped it altogether for, for futility. But the, you can't stop something for futility that you haven't started. Right. So that's the fundamentals. Uh, I, I think the CEO Fisher has it has um, has righted the ship a little bit. So there's some hope. Um, it's down a lot, but uh, I was thinking with bad news it would be a buck. So now I'm thinking um, you might start. It's open label, so you might start to get some feedback in early 2022 and therefore it's worth nibbling on but really realizing that before the next big pop might not be till february march that's my analysis here makes sense uh, to me. let's do a couple more let's do two more does that sound good yeah you got it but what do you what do you want to do uh what do you think spike Fisker, yeah, Fisker. FSR. And maybe GM? I, I, I'm happy with my GM performance. I don't own Fisker. I, I like I did, it. I think you were big on this for a while. I like it because I like I like him. I like it. I, I respect him as a designer. But they seem far away from their first vehicle. I don't know. That was a while ago. Maybe they're less far now. <laughs> Time has a way of getting you closer hmm. with time. Uh, but uh, yeah, like like the whole EV sector, it's moved up very nicely from lows of um, lows of around 13. We're looking at $21. And yesterday we looked at a high of 20 to 33. Mm -hmm. Today we're trading at 21.11. But we've come up from from a low of 2052. So it, even though it's a red candle, it's higher. It, it's higher than yesterday's close, and we're up 16 cents on the day. And the candle is not bad, and the company has has been in a very nice run. You want to buy the dip here. A good place to buy to come in if you believe in Henrik Fisker. A good place to come in is right in the middle here, right at twenty dollars and eighteen cents. Very good entry point. We were almost there today at twenty fifty three. Yeah. Uh, what's the story of Fisca? Uh, the uh, the uh, other one was GM. We wanted to look at in the, in the EV in the uh, automobile space. GM, of course, the traditional ICE maker. Uh, internal combustion engines, but with the cruise subsidiary, uh, they're, they're looking strong in the self-driving market, and they're looking strong in EV. Their Cadillac brand is, now has an electric vehicle. And uh, I think, as I said earlier, uh, you can laugh at me if you like, but I think Tesla might take this one out. Why not? They got the money. I won't laugh at that. I That's mean, good. I appreciate that because a lot of people have been laughing at me. I think the irony of that is amazing, but I don't think that that means just because it's ironic, not based in some sort of reason. The irony of that makes it all more, all that more appealing to Elon. Ego <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. He is he is here for everything that involves making flash. I didn't see this move coming yet when I put this advertisement in yesterday, so I'm happy about the movement. I started buying it at 55 back here, and I talked about it when I entered it. So it's not like I didn't like I didn't share it. Uh, I want to just do A A B B to end the show. I have no idea how they're doing, but it's, this one I, I started talking about at 11 cents. I bought it at 11 cents and 12 cents. 
And then I added at 18 cents. Will I add again? I don't know. I might just let it run. Uh, it hit 29 cents. It hit 28 and change. 28 cents and change. I had a sell at 29. I didn't get it. Now I'm greedy. I'm going to, I'm not putting in a sell till much higher. I think it, it can run on news. The news being that the exchange website, the crypto exchange has gone live. If in fact he pulls that off, the CEO, this thing will pop that day probably to 50 cents, 75 cents. And then, you, you know, you got to sell very quickly. You got to be very nimble because it's very, very tough with the penny stocks to get out and they're on the run. You put, in a, you put in a market order and then you just sit there waiting. I've experienced all of that. Okay, so I like this one based on the CEO and there's a weekly pump of PR every week to look forward to. And who the hell knows? Maybe he's the Elon Musk of crypto. I don't know. With the AABBG coin, this, this thing might be $20, and I, I'll kill myself for getting out at 75 cents. But, you know, you don't know. Yeah, but you take what, you take your wins... I could leave a little. Yeah, exactly. Have some fun. All right. So I had fun today with you guys, with everyone that joined us. Um, you know, I loved having seen Jiggly back, Andrew, Dan. Good to see Dan here today. Uh, Dan said cash and everything by Tesla. But, te but the trouble is Elon is dumping too much. Well, he's, he, he needs pocket change for SpaceX and other 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 pursuits, right? Brent right. is with us today. Tom is with us today. Uh, raining in Boston. Yeah. Rivian. Nice Rivian got a huge amount of money to work with now, says Ma. He certainly do. And then Sundial, Andrew wants to remind, not remind everyone Sundial is having a day. Snow in Minnesota, holy wow. mackerel. I'm just going to zoom down to the end of the comments. I can't look at all of them. Uh-oh, we got that guy back. Yeah, we got that, that spam again. Yep. Yeah. I didn't even – is this – Something that's happened before? I haven't seen this spammer. It's the second I, time. I, I blocked them before. I don't know how you guys... They, this is a different they keep name. changing the URL. I blocked them again, but, you know, they use different names. Again. All right. Um, Dan has a comment about the spammer. Thanks, Dan. Okay, Patrick is 100% cash, but yeah. I guarantee you he'll be back in uh, <laughs> at some point, and we will see him again. Patrick, if you're, if, you're, if you're MIA, we know that you're still in cash and not too interested in hot stocks at the moment. And I, 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 I don't disagree that we have inflation. The numbers are there, but we do not have stagflation. And I think we have transitory inflation. I'm in that camp. So I think once the supply side, the supply problems are alleviated, we go back to some kind of normalcy. Inflation will subdue. And we, we won't need too many Fed raises. So I'm optimistic. Adios, amigos. See you next week. All yeah. right. Well, that like what time are we doing Tuesday? Anybody know? Uh, Tuesday, Tuesday, I'm free. Uh, that's 2 30 Eastern, yeah. Uh, I think two is better, but 2 30 could work. All right, look for us around 2 30 Eastern.